Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. I welcome you all to this session in Jesus' name. You have some special powers. And you were born with those powers. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for this revelation. We're doing all of this to the glory of your name. Therefore, we pray that you alone will be exalted in every word, in every testimony, in every blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, you have special powers. You've noticed this about yourself, that you think differently. You see things that people don't see. You perceive things that people don't perceive. When something wrong is about to happen, you somehow just know that something wrong will happen. But sometimes you are afraid to say these things because you don't really believe in them. But when it happens, you know that you saw this, you perceived it. Somehow you just knew that it was going to happen. Sometimes we begin to minimize all of this and we just feel like, oh, it's just part of life. It just happens. These are special gifts that God gives to people for particular reasons. Look at someone like Samson. He was born with strength as a gift and he used that strength to defeat all of his enemies. No matter how many were there, hundreds of them, thousands of them. The Bible even says at some point he lifted up a city's gate and threw it lifted up literally with his hands so he had strength as a gift and god also gives different people different gifts maybe i've not mentioned your own but you feel or you know that you are different in some way you have some special gifts guard it now why don't you take it back to the lord and pray for guidance this is what you must do pray to the lord for guidance on how to use this gift Get yourself someone who is like a spiritual mentor. If you don't have a pastor yet, someone you trust, someone you can relate with. And let the person speak to you and give you guidance on how to go about it. God doesn't deposit gifts in, on people for nothing. There is a reason why he gives you every gift. And he has to reveal that to you so that you probably, properly use it. My prayer for you is that you will not waste that which God has given you. My prayer for you is that from today, God will give you clear direction on what to do and how to do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for what you have said. Help us, O Lord, with the next step from here to the glory of your name in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and grant you his peace. I love you.